Greetings viewers. What we have here today is a brand new pen factory fresh from pen BBS. This is the pen BBS model 380. Um, what we're looking at here is basically an aluminum bodied pen. Um, we, but it does have a little bit of heft to it, despite the fact that it's made all of aluminum it weighs 36 grams. It is a well-sized pen, as you can see. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see it's a tiny bit bigger than either of these. It is a, um, got these nice sort of spiral facets, which look great. Um, it is an unscrew to uncap pen. And let's see, it takes one, two, and about a quarter turns to open. But the nice thing is it only screws on one way. So any way you screw it on, the facets line up, which is really just not really, really nice. It's got sort of this sand blasted matte finish, which is really, really nice. It has the pen BBS sword style clip, very, very different material, but the exact same design as on say the pen bbs 355 which is also another fairly recent pen bbs so it's the typical sword style clip but it's in this matte finish um a uh, 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 material to match the rest of the pen um, the top of the cap has pen bbs 380 and two little stars embossed on the top and the bottom is just simply a plain bottom um, it does post and it posts pretty nicely and solidly and is very, very comfortable to hold. Um, but I will warn you when it comes to the section, it's a very smooth section that is definitely on the slippery side. That's for sure. And you have this absolutely monster, monster, um, step down here. So if that kind of thing bothers you, beware. Um, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, on balance, the pen is definitely comfortable. The section is a nice size section. The threads themselves are not obtrusive, but like I said, you have a monster step down here. Um, uh, the, the nib is the exact same nib that can be found in the pen BBS uh, 355, which is another newish pen from pen BBS. It, um, is a steel nib. It has the highly stylized M for medium. It says Pen BBS 2005, which is the year of Pen BBS's founding, and it says Shanghai, China. An attractive nib and a nib that writes fairly nicely. Now, if you like the way the 355 writes, you will like the way this writes, because like I said, it is the um, exact same nib. One thing that is super interesting that I'm you're going to get to see uh, for the first time when I do is they actually throw in a rollerball tip to go along with this pen. So we're going to we're going to try that rollerball tip um, on the air here and see how that goes. So um, nice pen. Love the way it looks. Feels feels pretty nice in the hand. Um, but most importantly, how does it write? We're going to find that out right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here is a pen. BBS number 380. And this has a medium steel nib. And like I said, this is the exact same nib as in the um, as in the um, three five five. So if you like that one, you will like this one as well. It is nice and smooth. It's um, it's it's a it's a true medium. I would say it might be a tiny bit on the far on the fine side, but it's 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 definitely nice uh, nice medium sized nib. So um, it's a smooth nib, a flowing nib. Um, I would say it's pretty much average on the wetness side, um, um, but um, writes uh, writes well, and um, and I like it, uh, and I like it quite a bit. Um, does not really have much in the way of flex or line variation, so it's pretty much a stiff nib. 
Um, but um, it's a, it's a really nice writer. I, I like it quite a bit. Um, haven't just got it, so haven't had a ton of time to write with it. But I have written with the 355 uh, quite extensively, and uh, like I said, it's the exact same nib, same feed, etc., as the 355. So not expecting much in the way of surprises here. Um, so let's talk about this ink for a minute, and then we're gonna try this rollerball nib. See how that goes. So this ink is. Pen BBS. Number 283, which also is named Petra. Um, Petra means stone. And um, I would say, I think what they really meant is brick here. Because this, to me, is definitely more of a brick color. It's a nice color ink, um, but it is uh, definitely more evocative of a um, a brick colored uh, uh, ink than anything involving stone. For stone, you'd expect something to be grayish or maybe brown, etc. But this is definitely more of a brick red, uh, etc. But um, nice, nice ink comes in this uh, nice, uh, attractive Pen BBS um, uh, bottle, which is um, 60 milliliters. One thing I think is really interesting on the label, they're kind of caveating it a bit, it says 60 plus or minus 5 milliliters. So I've not measured um, uh, how much uh, is exactly in here, but it's a reasonably priced ink. I think I only paid 11 bucks for this bottle which is which is pretty reasonable for a nice quality ink so um nice ink from pen bbs to go with the pen bbs pen pretty well behaved ink got some nice flow really nice deep saturated color there um not bleeding through the paper or anything like that so um all is is good with that and uh in general i've been uh i've been pretty happy with um with this uh, with this ink, um, so let's try it though with the rollerball and see how that works. I'm really kind of curious myself. So let me just again, you folks are going to see this for the first time, like I am. So here's what the rollerball looks like. Uh, it's got O-rings on the front and back, and um, it's got a feed uh, back here. It looks like a porous material feed to wick the ink up in there but we'll see how that works in a minute so i'm literally just going to unscrew the fountain pen nib and feed from the section which just goes like so we're going to set that aside for just a moment and we're going to um, insert the roller ball in place. Make sure it's screwed down. We don't want it to leak. And then um, let's see what it's going to take uh, to ride with this. I suspect uh, it's going to take a, a little bit to get some flow going here. I may unscrew it and prime the feed. Let's actually try that in the interest of expediting things. Let's see if that works at all. Um, let's just push that up a bit. Okay. Got a little too much of that. And let's see how that works now. Ah, there we go. So this is a fairly fine rollerball. Um, let's, um, rewrite some text here just to compare. So this is obviously quite a bit finer than our um, medium uh, fountain pen nib, but obviously because it's so much finer, the level of saturate, and it's finer plus given that it's a roller ball, it's just laying down a much uh, less ink in the line. So obviously the ink itself is look the level of saturation is much 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 less, but nevertheless, I must say it is 
it is it is definitely pretty smooth um, and um, for a rollerball it's 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 okay it's definitely it's okay not a big fan of rollerballs as you can probably tell from watching my all my fountain pen videos but if you want a cool rollerball that you could pretty much put any of your fountain pen inks in um, this is definitely a viable um, option but don't you know don't be disappointed like you're seeing here if the ink looks radically different coming out of the fountain pen and the roll boys you can see here this is it's it's sort of almost amazing that this is the same ink in both uh, both here and there as you can see there the the, the 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 both the line width itself is obviously different and just because then the level of saturation that you're getting is is completely completely different but uh, this is a nice option and it was a freebie that they threw in with the pen which I um, am very very pleased with um, Okay, speaking of very pleased, I think this was a pretty nice uh, pen. I'm happy with it. I was very pleased with this pen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. And keep those comments and thumbs up coming. And until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.